Our iman will be tested. Don't lose your faith. Come back to salah. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. That is an honor for those who believe only. Allah says, oh you who believe. That's an honor. Only those who believe will say, yes, oh Allah, what are you saying? You know, when I call you by your name, if I say, hey, rich man, the poor people won't look back, right? Right? If I call you by your name, Muhammad, there are five, ten Muhammads, Muhammad, five, ten of them will look, the rest of them won't look. If I say, oh, you who believe, everyone who believes supposed to say, what is it? What is it? Something very important. So Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu. You need to say, what is this? Ista'inu bis sabri wa salah. Inna Allah ma'as sabirin. Seek assistance. Seek help through. What? Patience and prayer. You don't pray, you're going to complain. I can't cope. You're not patient, you're going to complain. I can't cope. Allah says, if you seek help through patience and prayer and you complain to us alone and you thank us for what we've given you, you know, in the negatives, there are positives. Yesterday, I received an email from someone who said, Allah has let me down, abandoned me, forgotten about me. I don't have anything. And I'm thinking you're sending me an email. Subhanallah. Are you not looking at your eyes, your nose, your breathing, your ears, your whatever else? How can you say Allah abandoned you just because he took 20 things away from you one time? You think he's forsaken you. He wants to tap you to say, come close to us. Come to sabr and salah so that you get Jannah. That's the true answer of the question we are asking you right now. We're giving you the answer. We're testing you. It's a question to say, right, take this, take this, take this, take this. What are you going to do? It's our test. The answer is sabr and salah. There's neither sabr nor salah. You're getting the wrong answer. That's why you can't cope. There's sabr and salah. Pay patience. One year, two years, no matter how long, 20 years, a lifetime. If you lose your life while bearing patience, you still have Allah with you. Never mind. You died with hope. It's better to die with hope than to die hopeless. You know what's a mu'min? A mu'min when he is sick and ill and when he is right at the end of his life, he always has hope. One of two things. Either I'm going to get better, I will say Alhamdulillah. Or I'm going to meet my maker. Alhamdulillah. What did I lose? Why must I get depressed? If you hold the mattress tight, you're still going to die. May Allah forgive us. And if you let go of that mattress and say Alhamdulillah, you're still going to go when your time is up. So Allah says, we're going to test you. 